what are the signs and symptoms of Hashimoto's hypothyroid? First one is weight gain. You will gain weight or you become obese. Skin will be cool, dry. It becomes dry. There is no sweating. It becomes scaly. You cannot tolerate a even small amount of cold. Nails will become brittle and break easily. There is a diffused hair loss. There will be swelling and puffiness of the face. There will be cramps for your muscles. There will be joint pains and muscle stiffness as well in case of hypothyroid. Coming to gastrointestinal symptoms, you will have constipation and also your tongue will be swollen. Uh, the tongue will be enlarged. You will have severe constipation as well. Coming to cardiovascular system, your heart rate decreases and there will be bradycardia. So, number of beats per minute is going to be decreased. Coming to nervous system, you will land into depression and somnolence. Somnolence means you will feel sleepy throughout the day. You will be dull, lack of interest in doing any work. You will be slow and there will be sluggish speech as well. Your speech also becomes slow. Coming to female reproductive system, there will be loss of libido. Female will not have the desire to have sex. They become infertile. They are not able to conceive. Polymenorrhea, you will have frequency of menses increase, increases instead of having menses for every 24 days. They will have frequently, maybe for 10 days, maybe for 9 days, they will have frequency of menstruation also increases. There will be menorrhagia lot of blood is flown out compared to normal menses the flow of blood increases and also duration of flow is also increased coming to male reproductive system there will be loss of libido libido in the sense they will not have the desire to have sex they will become infertile not able to conceive and also there will be severe erectile dysfunction in case of males uh, and also there will be impotency they are not able to produce children Coming to investigations, it is very important to know the blood levels of T3 hormone, T4 hormone and also thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH hormone as well. And also it is very important to know the sugar levels in the body. You, you have to do RBS, random blood sugar, post prandial blood sugar and also pre prandial blood sugar and also HbA1c. It is very important to have all these investigations. Coming to the lipid profile, lipid profile is very important. There will be hypercholesterolemia where the LDL particle increases, LDL particle increases means it will be more cholesterol, more triglycerides in your body and also you have to go with ultrasound scan of thyroid gland. So with this you, you can say so which lobe of thyroid is increased or are there any nodules in the thyroid or it is is it diffuse or the thyroid gland has sunk. All the information will be given by ultrasound scan of thyroid gland.